name is Franco Vieira. I'm a lead data science for HP Personal Systems Data Science Team. HP is a technology company which produces uh, computer systems, personal computers, printers, related supplies, and as well as 3D printing solutions. So the three business models that we they are worthy of uh, highlight here are service management, um, fleet management, and product optimization. For service management, I mean uh, we are getting data from the devices in the field, and then we are trying to monitor them in order to guarantee the SLAs. Fleet management is related to a new offering we, we launched last year, Device as a Service. And then we are trying to, to monitor the health and help the users to maintain their fleet active without any problem. Uh, and product op optimization is a more internal use case uh, where we are monitoring how the users are using our devices, uh, trying to understand their needs and the configurations they are using. Before Databricks, we had to, to maintain several different uh, technologies for each one of the pieces. For example, data engineering, we had to, to handle AWS products. For, for uh, data analysis, we have another set of tools. And then when we have machine learning, especially deep learning, it's a completely different solution. When we uh, adopt Databricks, that complexity kind of uh, got transparent. So we, we, really apply, we are really applying the unified platform provided by Databricks. So we are getting the data from the ingestion and then use the Databricks to transform the data, filter the data, cleanse the data, enrich, and then start using the, the machine learning services on top of this data. Um, using the embedded machine learning solution was good. And ultimately, um, Databricks is supporting the deep learning libraries such as TensorFlow and Keras, which is great because then it's a unified platform for us. And then if you look from the development perspective, I think Databricks brought us uh, improved the performance because of a reduce of the complexity managing these environments. The data science and the rest of the team, they are focusing on their activities mainly. And then they, they are producing more than we used to produce before. In terms of, uh, there is a side effect, a good one, which is a collaboration. Databricks brought a big impact in our organization, especially in the data science area, because uh, adopting Databricks and making the access of this uh, information, the large volume of information, and access to, to data analysis on top of this data coming from these devices, kind of a demo democratization of this data, it's huge. So um, within HP, several different areas are contacting us and collaborating with us to create better and, and more smarter products. This is one of the impacts that we are having. Uh, we also are collaborating with uh, subject matter experts, uh, the ones that we used to have in HP, and then kind of uh, exchanging information with them. And they are seeing data about their products they created in a way that they never seen before. Databricks is helping us to extract value from the data in a way that never seen before. And based on this data, we are accelerating the creation of new products and smarter services for our customers.